Hello everybody, Smiling Suncake here. Along with Chongo. And we're going into Mount Moon. Oh, Mount your moon. Oh! oh! What's up? What's up now? What's up? So if you click right there, you get TM for Bullet Seed. Uh, I will be using that later, I think. I think? Maybe? Yeah, sure, why I not? I think? Yeah. Maybe? I, I don't... Not I, sure. I don't even know what you're talking about. There's a Zubat. <laughs> And these things are annoying as fuck, let me tell you. And I crit the first one, which actually made me really happy. Yeah. These things... 69. 69. So, here in uh, a Mount Moon, you're going to see a lot of different types of Pokemon, right, Chongo? Yeah. There's going to be a uh, Zubat, Poison Flying type, uh, relatively fast. Um, pretty underrated, actually. Uh, Golbat's pretty good. Um... I don't say it, I don't think it should be the star member of your team. I don't even know if I can learn fly, which is kind of a downer. But uh, if you want to use it, by all means, uh, I don't don't recommend it. <laughs> so uh, I don't recommend it, but I don't say stay away from it. If you want to use it, that's your choice. So oh, how come you don't catch it right here? I do. Oh, <laughs> this is a different one. <laughs> right, right, right. So um. Basically, here, once you get the uh, health down that much, it's pretty much a guarantee you're going to catch it. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, at if least it's a really in these hard... early stages. Yeah, right? early stages for sure. Um, now, this thing, I'm telling you, is the most pain in the ass thing. Every time you go into a fucking cave, there's going to be about 6,000 of these. And I named it after their most annoying move. Wait for it. You might like this. It's uh... most annoying move. Is super. Oh my god! Most annoying move. Super sunny time! Sonic okay, boom, shut up, shut up, Sonic shut up, boom. shut up, shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna face this guy. Suspicious <laughs> men are in the cave. What about you? Okay, so well, fuck you, asshole! Suspicious men in the cave. Why would you go in that cave? Yeah, I know. He's got a Weedle, which could be a bead drill, you dumb shit! Dumbass! God, I hate these trainers sometimes. Yeah. They really are shitbags. Did you just... Okay, you got critted, but you are It did, poisoned. like, three damage. No. Yeah. Poison Sting has a chance to, um, poison you, which can be really bitchy sometimes. Yeah. There's Kakuna. I'm surprised I didn't switch out, actually. Isn't this just another shitbag that sits there all day? Yup. Freaking... Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. So, again, just this guy. Keep on mashing on the scratch button, you'll get him eventually. Pokemon is a game of patience. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> if you don't have patience, don't play this game. Oh, there we go. That's when I switch out. I'm like, fuck this! I'm going to the guy with a special attack. Which is generally why I haven't really paid attention to Pokemon till now. Yeah. Just because my attention span is that of a three-year-old. <laughs> I'm Not really, but... I'm trying to wonder... Gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, whenever we record next, I want to see how many Pokemon I have right now. Yeah. And, <clears throat> what hits level 16? Yeah! Wait for it. Shh. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah! Evolved. What most Pokemon Yee! have an evolution. Um, some have two. War. War toad. War turtle. War turtle. Shit. <laughs> That's gonna be awful for you to pronounce. War turtle. Yeah. We'll just call him Flood. Yeah, really. So yeah. Um, Squirtle evolved. Um, I'm. Oh God. I think. I want to say. Bulbasaur, Charmander. And Squirtle all evolve at 16. I have a feeling one of them doesn't. But anyway, I know I know they evolve later at different levels. So um, Pokemon evolves three times, right? Uh, some Pokemon, times, some Pokemon don't evolve. Some Pokemon evolve once. Some evolve twice. Some even evolve three times. All right, that's about it. And this is a fucking Clefairy. This is a Clefairy that's about to get raped. I mean, watch this. Mm. Ouch. Oh, and we can catch this mofo okay. now. Does anyone oh, anyone else? No, yeah. Okay, watch this. Hold up. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Double slap hits five times. How does that work? 
What? It's there's there are moves that can hit two to five times. Uh huh. Double slap is one of them, which I don't get. I think double slap should just hit twice every time. Because it's called double slap. Exactly. I've never fucking got that. Whatever. <laughs> fucking Nintendo. Logic. I lost. Okay. Now take this. There were suspicious men around this cave, and now there's a little girl there in a mini shirt. Scarf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Skirt. God, you're awful. For the love of God. <laughs> but uh, yeah, basically, just kind of kicked her ass. Um, now, a trainer I'm about to face after this random wild encounter. Uh, uh you, he's actually uh, kind of difficult. Not gonna lie. You're saying something about a repel, like um. Oh yeah. Um, repel is something you can buy at the mart, which I do later because I'm a retard and I forgot to stockpile some. Anyway. What a repel does is if whatever your Pokemon's level is in the front of your party, if if the wild Pokemon that you're going to run into are lower level than that, if you have a repel active, which is either 100 steps, 200 steps, 250 steps, um, if a repel is active, it won't come. But if it's the same level or higher, then it'll come. Okay, so I have to ask, who is Super New Joe? <laughs> Super nerd Jovan, and he has these little robots. What, what was that first one? Magnemite. I, is that actually a Pokemon? Yeah, that's a steel. Uh, well, is, original game it was just electric. Now it's steel electric. This is the guy from Brawl, right? The guy who explodes. That's its evolved form. That's oh, okay. Voltorb that evolves into Electrode that goes boom. But All that right, thing cool. can go boom too. But yeah, basically, uh, that guy can actually be hard because if you started. Like, only Mankey, really. Uh, if you have Charmeleon, that guy's easy because Magnemite is part steel, which is weak to fire, but he resists grass and I believe resists water. So, uh, fighting and fire or ground is the way you want to go on that guy. Now, that last potion is not all that hard to find. Yeah, it's really not. <laughs> Just saying. So, again, these are these guys called Zubats, but, um, basically, if you're not trying to catch anything, what you can do is just run away. So... Basically, you're, getting a repel just makes things a lot less annoying. Yeah. Um, just got a... Uh, you need to go to Cerulean City. What do you know? That's where we're headed right now. Um, anyway. Bug he has a Robbie. cat or I swear to God. <sighs> of all of your damn Pokemon! Holy shit. Anyway. Rare Candy. What it does is it levels you... A Rare Candy is actually a, a mixed bag, in a way. It levels up your Pokemon one level. No matter what, it just levels up your Pokemon uh, from whatever XP they're at and starts you off at zero XP for the next level. I mean, that's good because you can get a level, but the stat boost that you get is pretty bad. So, like, instead of gaining, like, one speed, one attack, and one special defense, you would gain one speed. So, I mean, okay. oh, I, I, this guy, look, where the fuck is his health? He's like not even fucking alive. There's, a there's, there's the tiny tiniest sliver. sliver yeah. It's, uh... So I got a question. Um, now obviously evolving makes Squirtle look different, or Wardiger, something Flood. Flood looks different now. What does it actually do to the moves? Um, it doesn't change the moves. I mean, uh, if you evolve, some Pokemon can learn different moves. Yeah. If they're in an evolved stage, but also any move that they would learn at a previous stage. If they can learn it uh, as that stage, it takes longer. Like, if Squirtle was going to learn Water Gun at 13, if you had a War Turtle, it would probably learn it at, like, 60. Ah. So, yeah. But uh, what it does is it raises its stats. So, uh, you're, it'll look like you're doing more damage because you have higher special attack now. That makes sense. It yeah. basically raises all of your stats. So, definitely recommend evolving basically every Pokemon. For the most part. Uh, yeah. So, I just want to get this out of the way. One thing I'm doing for this Let's Play is, um, it might not look like it. That's an escape rope, which the allows you to, rope. E if you use that, you teleport out of any dungeon. Oh, that's or pretty cool. stuff like that. <laughs> could have um, used one of those in Zelda. <laughs> you really could have. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm trying to use a somewhat original team. I mean, Mankey and... Uh, Squirtle are obviously pretty common, but, um, there's a couple Pokemon I'm gonna use that, uh, wouldn't normally be used. They're probably not as good as Pokemon that other people would use. 
Um, so, I don't know, that's kind of that's kind of a bad thing, but also I like to be kind of original, not like anybody else. Yeah, we don't, um, we don't just want to, like, copy some, I mean... Yeah, there was, there was a Pokemon I was, there was actually two Pokemon I wanted to use, and decided not to, because, uh, a couple of the Let's Players used them, and, uh, so I hope you guys enjoy that, because I'm using one of my more favorite Pokemon that, um, not many people use, which kind of confuses me, but I'll get into that, that later. That's in the future, right? Yeah, that's in the future. Uh, Sandshrew. Sandshrew is a ground type Pokemon, so I should really switch into War Turtle, but I want to get some XP on Prime Ripe, and he's doing enough damage. And he uses Sand Attack, which is annoying as fuck, so now I can miss more often. But. It's okay, because I got. I maybe switch uh, out here. 219. Yay, level 16. Mankey doesn't evolve for a little while, but he does learn Fury Swipes. Now, uh. Fury Swipes is one of those moves that hits 2 to 5 times. Scratch has base 40 power, this is 18. So you figure it's a better move because it's going to hit 36 at least and then has a chance to hit more. But has 80 accuracy, I take less damage over accuracy. So. Interesting. I bet some people would have taken that one, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. But uh, that's just how I play, you know. Oh. Um, Raditz has Quick Attack, which I don't know if I've talked about. Makes it Basically, Quick Attack makes you go first unless... The other Pokemon has a fast priority move uh -huh. and is faster than you. So that would so. actually, I mean, obviously our Radita is level 3, so probably not going to happen. But, like, if you were in a battle that, you know, sometimes Pokemon battles come down to that last hit, you could use that quick attack. Yeah, so there's Supersonic, and it was funny because I missed and then he missed. And I actually misclicked. <clears throat> because I do believe that uh, Karate Chop is... Four times resisted by Zubat, so that would have been really bad. Uh, but he uses Leech Life, not very effective. Leech Life is a move that, uh, I believe, cuts in half. Well, it, it drains your life, and then half of the damage it does is health you gain. So if you use, like, one of those moves on a Snorlax, or a Blissey, that has a ton of HP, you'll yeah. get a lot of HP back. And here's another fucking Zubat. Which, uh... One reason we left this in is so you'll understand what we did at the end of this episode. <laughs> yeah, because, we do something uh, at the end that makes life a lot easier. Now, pick this up. Trust me, Star I'm a piece. fucking doctor. Okay? <laughs> Star piece, it sells for 4,900 Poké Dollars on a mark. Wow. So that really helps you out. Now, um, I believe, yeah, cut part of this out. Basically, you get a peck and it dies. Min max damage yeah, fucked me up. We were trying to catch this uh well, Paris. Paris here and uh kinda fucked it up. Yeah. In but it's okay, cause asshole grew to level four you yeah! <laughs> asshole. <laughs> it's okay because in this little uh if you find something like this, uh, like an underground passage in Mount Moon, hundred percent chance to have a Paris. So, if you need a Paris, here you go. Now definitely recommend Paris as a slave. Paris is a terrible Pokemon. It has shitty stats. It can use Spore, which is a 100% accuracy sleeping move, but besides that, it is utter trash. I recommend it as an HM slave because it can learn Flash and Cut. Also, Meowth can do that. Um, I think uh -huh. there's one other Pokemon I'm missing. Uh, I think Ivysaur can. But, um, yeah, so we caught Paris, and I don't... Did I, did I name this slave? I might have named this slave. I'm not sure. Let's <laughs> check. Or did I name it, like, Paris Hilton? Um, could go either way right now. I think you're thinking about this. What? But? Fuck. Oh, beast mode. Because <laughs> it's so fucking good. Yeah, because obviously one of the uh, most fantastic in the game. Oh, yeah, for sure. So if this little uh, cut so right there's here... there's a little cut because... We went all the way back to, to the, the mart. mart to buy this bad boy. Needed fucking repels. I got 13 because that star piece got me enough shit to get. Uh, cutting away. Oh, no, no, never mind. Nope. So that's it for this episode. Now we have a repel, so we're not going to have to worry about those fuckers. Next time, we're going to finish this.